In a world where age is often seen as a provision for achievements, very few individuals challenge these norms and amaze us with their brilliance. Meet these child prodigies who have shattered records and left a huge influence on their respective fields. Number five, Blaise Pascal. Blaise Pascal was a very smart person who lived in France. As he grew older, he got even better. When he was 16 years old, he wrote an essay on a maths topic that was so advanced that a famous philosopher thought someone else must have written it for him. And when he was just 19, he built a special machine that could do calculations, like a very early version of a computer. Blaise Pascal didn't stop there. He wrote many papers and did lots of experiments on different topics like how liquids move, machines that keep moving forever, and even the nature of God. Sadly, he passed away when he was only 39 years old, but before that he came up with an interesting idea called Pascal's Wager. This was about believing in God using maths and probability. Number 4. Pablo Picasso Pablo Picasso, the famous artist, loved painting from a very young age because his father was a painter too. He could draw even before he could talk, and his first words were to ask for a pencil. When he was only nine, he made his first oil painting. He became so good that he surpassed his dad's skills. At 14, he got into a great art school in Barcelona, and just a year later, he finished a painting called First Communion, which amazed everyone. Throughout his long career of 80 years, he created over 22,000 artworks. Picasso once said that his mom told him if he became a soldier, he'd be a general, and if he became a monk, he'd be the Pope. But instead, he became a painter and became famous as Picasso. Number 3. Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz was born in Mexico in 1651. Even as a young child, she loved reading and consumed all the books in her grandfather's library. Unfortunately, because she was a girl, she couldn't go to school, but that didn't stop her. At just eight years old, she started writing religious poetry. She taught herself Latin in only 20 lessons and also studied Greek logic and an Aztec language called Nahuatl. When she grew up a bit, she got a special job at the Viceroy's Court in Mexico City because people recognized her intelligence. At the age of 17, she amazed 40 university professors with her vast knowledge of philosophy, maths, and history. Later on, at 20, she decided to become a nun and spent the rest of her life in a convent. But that didn't stop her passion for learning and writing. She became a famous author of plays, poetry, and prose during the 17th century. Today, her face is even featured on the 200 peso bill in Mexico. Number 2. Enrico Fermi Enrico Fermi was very smart in maths and physics, even as a young boy. He appeared to have a fantastic memory, and at age 10, he was already doing complex maths and building electric motors. When he was 13, his brother passed away, and to deal with the sadness, he engaged himself in studying trigonometry, physics, and theoretical mechanics. He applied to the University of Pisa when he was 15, and impressed the admissions panel with an advanced essay on solving a difficult maths problem. He got his degree when he was just 21. Later, Fermi did important experiments in nuclear reactions and became a key scientist in the Manhattan Project, which developed the atomic bomb and changed the course of history. His work on radioactivity also earned him the Nobel Prize. Number 1. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart When he was very young, Mozart from Austria started playing the harpsichord at just three years old. At the age of five, he wrote his first published piece of music, and as a teenager, he had already composed many concertos, sonatas, operas, and symphonies. Mozart and his sister Maria Anna, who was also talented in music, traveled to different places in Europe to show off their skills in front of kings and the public. People were amazed by the young Mozart's ability to improvise and play the piano blindfolded or with one hand crossing over the other. During a visit to London in 1764, an eight-year-old Mozart impressed a British lawyer and naturalist named Danes Barrington with his amazing sight-reading skills. Mozart became one of the most famous and productive composers in Europe before he died at the age of 35, leaving behind more than 600 pieces of music. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell to stay updated. See you soon.